I think for the <clears throat> uh, excellencies here, I made reference because some seems to be a bit suddenly alerted when I mentioned I said. I said it's not issue of principles, issue or not issue of commitment to human rights, but when the elite, the political elite, decide to formulate policy, they introduce legislation without any consideration for the understanding of the masses, to alert them, to educate them, to initiate discussions, then such initiative will result in a negative sort of reaction. People will be suspicious, they think that their rights should be trampled with, they think that the religious principles and the cultural values and Bhumiputra interests will be at, at their disadvantage. That is precisely the reason why in Parliament, when it was introduced, I stood up and said, it's not something, it's not essentially anything principally wrong with the proposal, but the way it's being bulldozed is as much authoritarian as for the, the very uh, principles you want to uphold. You want to uphold a legitimate principle, but you can't bulldoze without any effort to inculcate better understanding. I mean, this is always the problem we face among the elites. They think they know best, they dictate without any consideration to the feelings, concerns, and reaction of the people.